What's going on YouTube, Geosno right here. In today's video we're discussing about an update to Kalbunga, which is a tweaking platform for iOS 15 and iOS 16 on all devices, including the modern ones running iOS 16.1.2 and lower. I'm gonna show you how to tweak your device and stuff like that. This is basically all you need in terms of tweaking for the moment while you're waiting for a jailbreak. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare for you key, which allows you to unlock your iOS screen if you forgot your passcode or you got the device second hand. The program is pretty simple to use, you just press start, connect your device, selected from the listing here and then put the device in DFU mode as shown on the screen. Once the device is connected press download to get the proper firmware for your device and the download will begin. Once that's done you press start removing here and the remove process will begin. So if you forgot your passcode this will reset it. It's gonna take a couple of minutes and a couple of minutes later you get the screen lock removed successfully and that's about it. You can check the program out in the link below Tenorshare for you key. The link will be below. It's available for both Windows and Mac OS. So you probably know Kobanga or you probably don't. It's a tweak platform based on the Mac Dirty Cow exploit which supports iOS 16.1.2 and lower. It also supports iOS 15, 14 and stuff like that. So with this it has a huge range of things you can do. You can tweak your device's status bar, explore screen, lock screen, passcode, audio. You can have themes on your icons on the springboard. You can hide the dock, hide home bar, disable folder blur, change notifications and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this and yes it does have a lot of custom features for tweaking and stuff like that and the best part about this is that this is not a jailbreak. It will not be detected as a jailbreak by applications, for example by your bank application or games and stuff like that. They will not block you because you're jailbroken. But it still uses a kernel vulnerability, a kernel exploit, which means that it still has access to do modifications on the device, all of these tweaks. And yesterday an update has been published, the version 8.1.0, which adds even more stuff. For example, custom fonts are now here. You can create and import fonts in TTF format, TTC, OTF and stuff like that. Custom operations, you can import icon themes in the .theme format, disable screen time now and remove iCloud manage as well, and other things. So let's see it in action. If you want to install it, you get the Kaobanga IPA. The IPA is available here on Kaobanga on GitHub. You go here to releases and there will be the latest release, which in my case is version 8.1.0 a day ago. So you get here to assets and you press kaobanga.ipa and it will ask you if you want to save it. Now in order to sideload it, you connect your device and you can use either side loadly or alt store. I'm gonna side load it and be right back. All right so as you can see this is my device. I have Kaobanga over here and I side loaded the latest version. You can see now the version looks very different. It has multiple features over here. There are two tweak options, respring and fix tweaks if the tweaks are no longer applying. Then you go here to tools and here are all the tweaks. This is all you can do on iOS 16.1.2 and lower on all devices including the newer ones like 8.12 and stuff without even being jailbroken. So you basically don't even need a jailbreak anymore because you can do a lot of stuff that you would do with a jailbreak just with Kaobanga. You have springboard tools in here which allow you to hide the dock, hide home bar, disable folder blur, hide notification banner. You have springboard colors in here you can change the banner for notifications. You have color pickers in here for notification banner and stuff like that so you can customize that. You have passcode faces you can change the numbers here on the passcode screen. You can make them different icons and stuff like that. Lock screen footnote you can add like a text on the bottom of your lock screen. And even status bar in here, you can change the carrier text, change the time, hide the time, hide cellular, hide Wi-Fi, battery, Bluetooth. Then you have in here fonts. Now you can have custom fonts. You can change the audio for when the device is charging or when you take a screenshot and stuff like that. A lot of stuff in here. There's also a couple of miscellaneous stuff here, for example, to delete shortcut banners, to put the device in supervised mode, change the software version, enable the dynamic island and iPhone 10 gestures. You can do that as well. But you also have themes available in here. For example, I have this theme called Vivacity in here. I can select it. And yeah, one respring later, as you can see, I now have a theme applied. Most of the icons are now themed. And you can go here to the explore tab and there are other themes that you can have. For example, the lollipop one in here. I'm going to apply it. There is also this one in here, harmony. And as you can see, every spring later, we have a new set of icons in here and I'm not even jailbroken. So yeah, that's basically it. Kaobanga has been updated. You can definitely check it out in the link below. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow and till the next time, subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.